Hello guys, I hope you are doing good. Welcome to another video. Today we are going to solve one React machine coding round question. This question you can expect on the first round and you have to solve it between 30 to 45 minutes. It's a simple question for HT1 and HT2s. The question read as we have to implement infinite scroll in React. As the term states, infinite scroll means we have to keep on scrolling and as we reach or as we are about to reach to the end of the scroll, the new data should be loaded so that the new data is visible and then again the scrolling continues. So we have to show a working demo of how do you implement a infinite scroll. This can be also asked to HD3s during the intro calls or you know uh, during so there is a new um, um, interview process that is being introduced by different big MNCs or product based companies is that because they receive uh, 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 they receive bulk of applications right for interviews so even after shortlisting the candidates through the resume they are not 100% sure that this candidate will perform or not so what they do is they keep one filter round uh, in which uh, they ask these simple questions to ht3s to check their knowledge so you can expect it there as well so let's start implementing this as the problem statement uh, uh, states right we have to implement infinite scroll so let's uh, uh, start solving this the first thing we will do is i'm going to create a state count and set count whose value i'm going to set as 50 so what i'm going to do is i'll assume that this 50 represent 50 elements that we have initially loaded now these 50 elements we have to show on the dom so here what I'll do is I'll create this elements array and below that I'll going to do a simple loop i is less than count i plus plus and then in the elements I'm going to push a div tag with the value i and key also i so what this will do is this will create 50 div elements and then we'll show this 50 divs over here so let me create one main area main or section you can create anything and then inside that i'm going to show the elements now if i run this You see that there are 50 elements rendered on the screen right so this is 0 to 49 let's add plus to 1 so that we get 1 to 50 list so 1 to 50 now this 1 to 50 gives us an option to scroll the screen right so now we can implement an infinite scroll now on the screen you see right when i scroll as I'm about to reach to the bottom, what I can do is I can make and I can increment this count to let's say next 50 so that 50 more elements will be rendered on the screen and the scroll will continue. So let's do that. The first thing I'll have to do is I'll have to listen to the scroll element, scroll event to determine if we have reached to the bottom or not. So inside the use effect hook, I'm going to assign the event, which is window dot add event listener scroll and then here I'll on scroll. So I'm going to handle the event on this function on scroll. Also, at the same time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write the memory cleanup cloud, which is I'm going to remove the listener if the component is about to unmount. So window dot remove listener and this will remove the listener. Now in the scroll function, which is const on scroll. 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a condition over here. The condition is if we are about to reach to the bottom, that is the scroll position, right? As we scroll, the scroll bar comes down. So the scroll position, if it is greater than or equal to the height of the body, that is if it is about to reach to the bottom, that means we are near about to end the scrolling. So we have to load the new data. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a simple calculation of window dot inner height. Inner height gives us the available height plus window dot scroll y. So scroll y gives us the scroll position as we are uh, uh, scrolling on the y index which is horizontally. And then if it is greater than or equal to window dot document dot body dot offset height so this calculation this calculation i have found from google how to determine if we have reached to the end or not so this will help us to determine if the scroll is about to end or not now here you can either do this or you can add some buffer let's say if we are about to reach to the end right so rather than uh, when the scroll is at extreme end you can add a buffer of let's say 30 or 40 pixels so if it is before that only it will start loading the data so it's always better that you add a buffer but you make sure you ask this clarifying question to the interviewer and depending upon what the reply from the interviewer is, you should make these changes. Don't assume anything. So I'm adding a buffer of 30 pixel over here. And whenever we have found that the scroll is about to end, uh, reach to the end, I'm going to update the state set count. And I'm going to set count, whatever the count, previous count is plus 50. So it will add 50 more elements. And now, I'm going to because we are using this count as a dependency, so I'm going to add that to the use effect group. Now, if I run this, you'll see that when I'm trying to scroll to the bottom, as I'm about to reach to the bottom, the new elements are being added. So the scroll, it never reaches to the end. So what we have over here is an infinite scroll. As I keep on scrolling, you will see that the elements are being added and we are never reaching to the end of the scroll. New new elements will always be added and the scroll will be go on infinitely. So this is how you can implement an infinite scroll in React. Now in the video, it may seem simple, right? Because I have solved this problem previously and I'm explaining this on the video. But during the interviews, we sometimes becomes blank or sometimes the solution does not click to us. Uh, we become nervous. We are not able to figure out small things. So it's perfectly fine. Don't stress out. Uh, I would recommend you to practice as much as possible so that during the interviews, you won't be surprised. You will be well versed. And uh, if in case you are finding any difficulties, look for hints, try to communicate with your interviewer. So that's it. I hope you have learned something new today. Thank you for your time.